Let's load our game. Uh, oh yes, we are in the middle of war. Hmm. Let's do our recap. Last time, we began after an awkward date between Fiora and Pantsless Shulk up at the lookout point. Debris had fallen from the sky, so we had to head back to town. After destroying a bazillion bunnets on the way and meeting some more of the townsfolk, Shulk and Fiora made their way back up to the weapons lab where we found Rain? Rain? with his hand conspicuously in a cookie jar. He attempted to murder Fiora with a Minato, but because it's a magic sword, it didn't want to touch her. I guess. Shulk was devastated that his lab got trashed, and chastised Ryan for his carelessness, while Fiora had a hissy fit that no one seemed concerned about her well-being. Her outburst caused Shulk to accidentally activate the Minato himself, and he got bombarded by what appeared to be strange visions of the future. I'm sure it was supposed to be a very dramatic scene, but it was hard to focus, what with Shulk and his underoos. At that point, Ryan remembered that he was on punishment duty, and wanted to beg Shulk for his help, heading up to the ruins past Tefer Hill, to stock back up on the ether fuel. Fiora didn't seem sure Shulk was quite capable of taking care of himself, a little insulting, but it showed that she is incredibly overprotective. <laughs> It makes sense, given that her brother died nearly, nearly a year ago, though. So I, I don't blame her for being overprotective. Anyway, the boys headed up to the ruins, and Fiora was waiting for them there. I also discovered some more about character affinity, as well as some fighting mechanics. Shulk also discovered his hidden talent for slaughtering bunnets, as well as his hidden weakness to bugs. We got bodied by caterpiles many, 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 many times. At the top of the ruins, we got ambushed by some sort of defense mechanism, and Shulk and company suspected it had something to do with the sudden attack from the sky. After a long and peaceful year, the Mechon were back. With no other recourse, we flung ourselves off the nearest cliff, and despite hitting the water at approximately 80 miles an hour, we had no fall damage. We swam to shore and made it back to the town, where the place was swarming with enemies. Despite Shulk's inability to kill a single big caterpillar, we were able to tackle the Mekon, clearing the place on our way to the weapon lab. It seemed like Dunban was missing, and with him being the one and only able one and only person able to control the Minato, the only weapon effective against these enemies, the chance of him going for it were pretty high. So we are here now, looking for the dumb men. Yeah, I don't think he's dead. He nearly died. And he was... He was trying to make Fiora feel better. He was trying to assuage her concerns. I guess. Even though he was clearly... Suffering. After effects of... Whatever the Minato did to him. Fried him? I don't know. He had scars all over him, so I'm not sure exactly what happened. I'm sure it will be explained pretty shortly. Um, here. Why is his shirt green? Did I do something to make his shirt green? He was wearing a blue shirt earlier. Let's see here. Oh, I don't have a cosmetic effect on him. That's Shulk. Okay, I get it. You're proud of yourself. Yeah, that's nice. Y you need to put some clothes on. Oh, so this is new. Ah, oh, I see. I actually kind of like it a lot. I'll put him in the green. Actually, he has it if, uh, um... What is it? Already equipped. So I don't need to... How do I... How do I... Remove? Thank you. Or, or, um, what is it? Uh, armpit hair. <laughs> they don't believe in hair and, uh, other sensitive, uh, body parts, so to speak. Although, because he has green on, I wonder if he has green shoes? 
I don't think so. I think it's type two. Got the blue. And the red. Mm, well, the red looks pretty good. Let's see what else do I have? Eh. Eh. I mean, it's color coordinated. Anything else? I guess we'll go for color coordination here. Are you gonna actually wear pants today? Thinking about it. Not bad. Yeah, we'll go for it. Um, can't really see his arms very well. We'll go for the white ones, I guess. I think that's what he has on, actually. Yes. Probably. Unless they have some really nice, like, fur or fuzzy liners on the inside. Otherwise, yeah, absolutely, they would chafe like nobody's business. I don't think there was anything else new. <laughs> I don't think that's what it's used for. <laughs> um. Let's see, what do you have? You have new stuff? Let's see. No, I'm not putting you in the Crocs. No, we'll go for green today. You know, any other pants? Okay. I just... They put it at the top of the list. So it's always the very first thing you see. <laughs> why, game? Why? I mean, they're not bad. What does he have on? I think it was... This one? Mm -hmm. Random metal armbands. I still like his green vest outfit. This one. Brian, you really need to take a shower. If you if you're smelling yourself like that all the time, you really should take a shower. You didn't have anything new of these. What about you? It does not look like you have anything new either. He did just jump into the lake, but there's no telling what was actually in that lake. Some lakes are really stinky. I'm gonna throw that out there. Um I think we're all set. See if I have any, uh, things to upgrade. 400... Oh! Actually pretty close. Pretty close! What about arts? What do I have? Nope. Nope. And nope. Well... I did kind of notice when I was looking through the VOD... They're color coordinated. Like red is basic attack, blue is like support or defense. Uh pink is break. I'm pretty sure pink was break in uh Xenoblade Chronicles 2 as well. And green is topple. Yeah. It was the same in uh the second game. So I recognize that. But it looks like there's slightly different mechanics here. Like days was not in the second game. In the second game it was um, break, topple, launch, and then smash. Is launch in this game? Yeah, days was not in the second one. Yellow is days. I don't know what orange is. What is orange? Is this aggro? No. What is this? I'm not sure what orange does. Um, 
Uh, I don't know, and I, I don't know what purple does either. I guess I don't have to pay as much attention to these. Bone Upper, I swear, is a horrible name! Why? No launch, just the three. Days is something you tack on so you can do damage during without pulling. Interesting. So, okay. I get it. So it's a three phase attack instead of a four phase attack. Oh, you a little bit more. Oh, yeah, no, I, I get that. Like here, his backslash and split edge. I don't know if they just call it side attack or something obvious, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Up means back. I don't get it, but okay. Game, I'm not gonna question your, your logic here. There is logic, which is all that I can ask for. Um, okay, let's see. So... These two guys, what is it? Um, Shulk and Piara can break. And so far, only my tank can topple, which is similar to the second um, game, actually. Your tank was the one who toppled. Alright, I think I got it. I may rearrange my icons later, but for now, just knowing what they do is the important thing. Alright, let's go find the dumb men. Oh, they respawned. Well, I already killed all of you. Yeah, I'm supposed to go find... Oh, the mobile artillery. The thing that was broken in the residential district. Press down. You mean separate them from the pack? Huh. That's a different mechanic. I'll have to figure that out. Oh, I'm not gonna do that right now. I already killed all these guys the first time I came through here. I need to go find the dumb man and progress the story. It's different seeing him with pants on now. He, he looks like he's decked out for winter now. Okay, maybe I should have practiced. <laughs> it has been a week. Right. Looks like you and I will have to cut a path through them. Looks like it. Fiora, Ryan and I will open up a path. Then you can run through. You two can't do this by yourselves. I want to fight as well. Get through. We'll be right behind you. But Shulk... A year ago, Dunban and the Defense Force fought hard to protect the colony and all of us Homs. Now it's our turn to repay them. Please, Fiora. I mean, of course... Shulk... Going for help Ryan. is kind of the smart thing. Don't look so worried. We'll just get rid of these ones. Shulk won't get a scratch. Uh, it's kind of a... Okay. okay, I believe you. Go now, Fiora. Okay, I believe you. <laughs> I just think of that Kingdom right. Hearts meme. Huh? You take care too. Of course. Looks like she trusts me after all. I told you. I'm a little sad she's not in my party anymore. Okay, well... Mm. Come on, do your thing! Am I too far away? Come here. Hmm. 
Please target the one I'm attacking, please. Please, please. Now do your thing, please. Really? <laughs> well, I just, I use the battle command to t tell him to focus on the same monster I am. So oh, this dude is attacking me over here. He used to leave me alone. Okay, I'm gonna break it again. You need to do your thing. Mr. Ryan, sir. Really? Okay. Focus on this dude. It takes so long to recharge the uh, break. Oh, I missed the prompt. Oops. Thank you. Please topple. Please topple. Ah. Ah. Okay, out of practice, it has been a week. Oops. Your morale? I think it's your affinity, right? Leave me alone, dude. Well, there's a, um... Cool down on the the break as well. But it was about the same amount of time. Oh, here we go. Thank you. Very nice. I love how the guys, are, the the mechons, are just kind of watching in the background. like one of those high school fights like fight 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 <laughs> there we go ah, I thought I had it yeah the set pieces are doing their very best I will give them credit One of these days, I will defeat these three Mechon. Yeah, they shout their, their attack names. It's pretty funny. That's all right. I recognize that from the second game. Really? I like the voices. The English voices in these two games are quite charming. Okay, I've bro broken. I have inflicted a break on this guy several times. You are slacking, Ryan. Of course, the, the gauge goes down really, really fast. And I'm just gonna do chip damage with one health at a time. Oh look, two health! <laughs> 
And I think it's funny when you're in the middle of battle and you just get this cacophony of battle lines and you have like four people in your party. <laughs> Finally! Oh my gosh. That was a close one. You were never cut out for this stuff. You go. I'll take care of things here. You're too out of breath to persuade me. Tell me about it. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Ryan, behind you! Oh, hey, it's the dumb man. Ignore the fact that he's literally sparking electricity. Oh, he's actually in your party. I'm going to check this out. Is he a guest member? Or is he like a permanent member, I wonder? Does he have a skill tree? Nope, he's a guest member. Oh, well. Actually, I think... Oh, I got exactly three skill points out of that. Well... I got nearly no ability point. Was it arts point? I'm guessing that's what AP stands for. What do you have on Mr. Dumb Man, sir? A Monado. Yeah, imagine that. Corporal cap. He's got a, a long sleeve on to cover up all of his scars. I like that he has the Monado literally here in his, uh... What is it? Character screen. How do your stats compare? You have way more health than we do. Way more attack power. Way more strength. Yeah, he, he's a lot stronger than we are. Oh wait, we have a lot more ether than he does. I guess he's not a magician. Mage. Whatever. He doesn't use... Special skills, kind of wax it in Monado. He is more agile. Better crit rate. Ryan, why is your block rate 0%? You're supposed to be my tank. Does it give me information about the Monado? A weapon of many abilities. Can I actually put things on here? Oh, I can. But I'm not going to. <laughs> okay. Give this one a try. Dunban, you didn't waste any time on them mech on. <laughs> Shulk, where's Fiora? The residential uh, that is district. a good question. We said we'd meet her there. Looks like we'll have to take the long way round. All right, 
Then we cut through the commercial district. Yes. <laughs> it did. It landed in in the uh what is it? The rails. Yeah. She's lucky she didn't get squashed by that. Is she gonna drive it? I don't think she can. She doesn't have a license. Imagine you need a license to drive one of this. Well. We can squeeze through. Look, there's enough room. Not that hard. They're, they're noises. Plot barriers. Actually, can I? Yeah, exactly. Uh, can I make him be my leader? I want to see what his uh his funny noises are. Um, how much did I get for that? Nearly nothing. Wow. Okay. How about this? I got four points out of that one. Oh, I think it's like one per enemy. Something like that. Um. Okay. He jumps funny too. He jumps like a frog. Okay. <laughs> Not bad. Let's keep this up. Easy peasy. Anyone? <laughs> see. I think it charges for every attack that lands. You know, this is a lot faster and easier than uh, my first time coming through here. It's like one damage, one damage. 970! Piece of cake! cake. Actually, did I get something new? Yeah, I gathered that. That was in the, um... I think it was in the tutorial. There's a buff that you can put on your party members. I think it's called Enchant? Oh, yeah, Enchant. And then, um... Something else. But they don't have it here. They don't show it. I have to target something. Enchant. And then there was a... This looks like a buff on yourself. Well, no, I think I think that the on the side also refill the meter for every attack that lands. He doesn't have a special unleash the power of the Minato. What is this? Blur. Huh? I see. It's purple. Maybe that's what what's his face was Ryan. Maybe that's what purple does. Over one thousand damage. He says that, and we were struggling. He nearly died like two minutes ago. I'm gonna go through and kill everything I can again. <laughs> hey, what else is hiding back here? I'm just taking all the parts that they drop. Oh, well, hi. Ow. Oh, 
That one actually had a bit of health. Nothing else back here? Really? I don't remember it saying that. I guess it one of those numbers that kind of flies by on the screen. Let me see. I don't think I've leveled up yet. I don't have enough for what about skill tree. Really? I have exactly two more. At least for him. Increases his agility. Automatic agility up. <clears throat> or aggro up. Defense up. This one's good. I like this one. Okay. Their chart, their, their, uh, what is it? Their, um, victory lines? Are pretty funny. Wasn't this open? Something just shot at me. Oh, very nice. Bone breaker did something. Alright, what did I get? Some sort of achievement. Oh. Okay, well. Thanks, dumb man. Every bug except for that one caterpillar. Define many times. I, I feel like I've already uh, done this many times. High tension. Not sure what that's about. Burst affinity. The combo attack gauge. Is that like the uh, the break topple days thing? You think, okay, well, <laughs> I'll believe you. I'm sure I'll figure it out. <laughs> Hunter in training. Yep, I... I'm pretty sure they'll they'll give you a tutorial of everything. Technically, I could go and check the tutorials right now to see if they have. I don't think so. It doesn't strike a bell. But... We'll see. Okay. I have gotten up to date. He has his health increase. Very nice. Mm -hmm. 
Do I want to increase his aggro? Hmm. It'd be better to increase his defense first. Okie dokie. One thing I am starting to remember about this series of games is there's a lot of menuing. <laughs> you spend a lot of time in the menu. It doesn't really bother me. It's something that I have remembered. Was a long leap. No mercy. This won't take long. Don't get careless, guys. Hey? Ooh, up. Yeah, I don't even need to bother with the enchant because he's so strong. He just immediately kills these guys. Yeah. Swimming gel. The names they come up. Why didn't they just call it a swimming cap? Or something green. I do. They could have come up with something better, though. Because swimming cap is an actual thing. Because it's the hat. You know, the rubber latex whatever hat that they put on their hair to keep it from getting wet? It, well, maybe. It, this is a fantasy world. Maybe they have the technology where they can have these these swimming caps be invisible so that they can build a stylish while they're swimming I guess <laughs> water is weird in this game you don't you don't get fall damage from it uh No. There's somebody up there. And somebody up there. Let me go this way. A bit, yeah. He's he's like um. Do you ever play Crisis Core? There was a um. You didn't. Okay, well, it's not spoilery, but it was a cute little funny part. It had to do with Sephiroth and his hair. Everybody was always commenting on how beautiful his hair is. Crisis Core was interesting. It, it certainly felt different from the other games in the franchise. Alright, I don't think I missed anybody over here. Oh, rear I guess I killed enough things from uh using back attack. That's my guess. Uh Where is it? Back attack 50 times. Yep. No 
Yeah, I think this is a preemptive bonus. And all these, uh, items. Quite nice. Ooh, baby Nikon. Oh, that took exactly one hit to kill. I feel almost bad. <laughs> they can't even get their story straight. We managed to survive. Piece of cake. <laughs> Take the big guy on. So I'm supposed to cut through the commercial district, but I don't know exactly what that. Oh, there's a flag down there. Okay. Story mechanics, okay. But I, I heard something. Can I actually fast trap? No, I can't. Well, I'm good for us. We'll let us go forward. more dude to kill. You are level 8. Oh, it's inside the building. Okay. I was like, what is this? How do I actually get in there? I'm confused. I guess so. He was in a big old rush, but he had time to lock his door. Uh oh. I expected that. You can't take any more of the Monado. But I must. I don't have a choice. Oh. Ryan's right. You Did can't he just spit up like blood? Shulk. Dunban. Hey. <sighs> this time, it's my turn. Shulk, no, it'll kill you. Shulk. Well. This is new. What's happening? Oh, he ran right into it. Oh, it was a vision of the future. I see. I see. What the Well, that's useful. Wow, shot's pretty awesome. How could this be? Shulk is using the Monado. What was that? Shulk, more company. Ryan, right. Ryan. 
Right, Dunbar. I got your back. Shook, do you feel all right? I'm okay, but there was something strange. Just now, it was as if I could see into the future. Is this another power of the Monado? See into the future? What are you saying? Uh, are you certain, Shulk? Mm. Yes. I see. I remember Dixon saying that the Monado had a hidden power. Could this be it? What? Maybe it's just different for different people? Hard to say. Don't think about it now! Just believe what the Monado showed you and fight! Got it! Hmm. I'm a little sad that Dunban doesn't have any other... What is it? Like skill trees? Uh oh. Sally sees a bird. There is something exciting out the window. So he now has a, a gigantic sword. Cool. Hey, what did you get that was new? What is it? Rusty Garter. Except it's like this weird teal color. I'd like it if it was uh, the green. Matches outfit a little bit better. See here. Oh, so he does have one. Let's see. Boost strength when health is at max, or in the duration of aura, or not this time. What I wanted. Oh, so he's like a glass. Not a glass cannon. What is it? Is there even a word for it? He has no armor. The last one? What do you mean the last one? It's the same thing, kind of. Increases agility with no armor. I mean, I'm sure it's fantastic. He probably dodges. I bet you he's, what is it, a dodge tank? There's a sponge tank and a dodge tank, as far as terminology goes. You have a... A sponge tank is a, a character who... It takes the damage, but absorbs it, and has a very high defense. And then you have dodge tank, which has a very high agility. So they get the aggro, but they just can't be hit. <laughs> Naked Dunbend? <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. That is hilarious. <laughs> of course, you gotta give him the, uh, the naked... What is it? Oh, what is it called? I think they call it Ekru. The appearance thing. I don't know why it's called Ekru. Ekru type. Where they basically have nothing on. This was the one I wanted. Green? Can't tell the difference. Wish there was a way for me to zoom in. Really? Him and his stupid cap. <laughs> Uh, I didn't have any anything to equip him with. And I can't change his equipment. So basically, 
he is in his standard outfit and everything here. Um, activate the Monado. Normal arts and Monado arts? Okay. No, actually, I haven't. Because I spent so many hours on it, on the, the first game, oh man, RNG is the main thing that caused me to spend so many hours on that game. Because you had to each <laughs> try and try and try and try and pull the crystals to get the uh, the blades. I finally got them all, but now I'm in NG+, and I <laughs> am trying to get the NG+, blades, which is a whole new struggle. Hi, Chrono, how are you? But because I got so many hours invested in it, I burned out a little bit, so I didn't do the Golden Country um, sequel. So I am excited to play that later, when I probably stream NG Plus of Xenoblade Chronicles. Let's see here. Activate Monado to switch between Normal Arts and Monado Art. Power up your allies and deal major damage. I'm doing alright. It has been an interesting week. My nephew is actually here right now. He has spent the night. A couple of nights. He just had his birthday. So he was shopping. Got some things that he wanted. Um... Is it just the two arts? I wonder if it can. We're gonna just use regular stuff right now. Really? I wonder what the significance of that is. I'm trying to think. Go back over here. I kind of get Slash at one damage fest. For everybody else except for Shulk. Look, they respawned again! Let me check the map out. Like, how many times do I have to clear out these enemies? Oh, I see. We're going around this way. That makes sense. Oh, I see. I do like that they spam enemies for you to... Uh, basically, it's one giant battle tutorial here. <laughs> They're just waiting for you. Oh, but they have creepy eyes. I am much stronger than I was before. Yoink. I didn't really check. I need to look and see. Yeah, he has totally different skills now. Bullied. So it's still red, it's a basic attack. So he can. <laughs> Why is it a foot? Is that a foot? What is that? Electric gut buster? He kicks the enemy. Okay. <laughs> you my mighty foot. <laughs> okay, so he can both topple and break. That's very nice. Still 
don't know what orange does. Aura, aura. Aura, aura. Okay, so it's aura, whatever you want to call it. So you have to activate a purple skill. Sorry, yeah, what is it? Orange skill, and then you do this one. Yeah, I gathered that the blue was defensive. That one was an easy, easy one to see. As well as the, the topple and the break and basic attack. It was these uh, additional skills that I was trying to figure out. An aura which attacks or defensively. What? Yeah, I consider that like the orange to be um like buffs of a sort. And then I guess purple is uh, effects that only um. What is it? You can only use it during that time period when you have that buff. I guess? I'm trying to, to organize this in my brain. <laughs> she still sees something out the window. I don't know. I can't see from here. Uh, okay. Let's see. Bone upper. Can I level you up? No. Hmm. Yeah, I'll figure out how to organize them later. Once I've figured out exactly what they do. I will probably have break very close to the middle. So that it is accessible. I like having heal right next to the middle as well. I'll figure this out later. Probably off stream. Once I get to an appropriate place where I can grind. For now I'm gonna leave them as they are. How do I... Oh! Okay, so yeah, you can level these up too. That's what I was trying to figure out. I was like, how do I figure this out? So, you can actually buy manuals to learn how to upgrade your Monado. That's funny. <laughs> Enemies in a line. Lose damage lightly. They are pretty pricey. Do they share AP? Looks like it. Okay, so you have to be judicious with your use of AP. Um, let me see. Still really want his heal to be better. As far as I know, he's the only one that can heal. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of the purpose of the sword, I think. At, at least, according to the story thus far. Okay, what is one target lowers physical defense. Inflicts a bleed. Break. Couple. Ears confused. That's very nice. Hmm. Okay. Boost strength when health is at max. End duration of aura. Here's aggro. Mm, which one do I want? I think I'll do this. Need to increase the aggro of these guys. 
I'm the only one doing damage at this point. I'm getting all of the aggro. Okie dokie, now that I have 10,000 years in the menu. Yeah, it <laughs> certainly have a lot of nooks and crannies for you to explore. You know, the second game was kind of like that too. I was commenting earlier how um, I'm starting to remember how much time you spend in the menu in these games. I just paid attention to what they were saying. Oh, well. By the time I get around to using the attack, Dunban has already broken the, the enemy. I don't think I need it. Not against these little easy peasy enemies. Because Dunban will, will break it and then Ryan will topple it. And then at that point you can attack. Not bad. Not bad at all. Easy peasy. Two more enemies. There is one right here. Easy peasy. Far, I mean, there may be more mechanics added on. I have a feeling there may be. So far, it is more simple. Hey, red dot. There's something. I don't really remember much about Final Fantasy XII, honestly. But I played the original version. I did not play Zod Zodiac Age. The only thing I remember about 12 is Fran. <laughs> the bunny girl. And also that 12 was the very first game to implement like weather, which was innovative at the time. Weather effects. Super cool. I don't have any issues with the, the battle system of this game so far. There is a learning curve, but I'm sure that once you get it, it is uh, pretty interesting. <laughs> that that you can't count that. That is not part of the battle mechanics. I actually did do that, for the record. <laughs> It wasn't that difficult once you got the uh, the rhythm of it. It wasn't that bad. I think I had more issues with the... What is it? The one that you had to do the, the jet shot for? I could never get that right. I could never get it down. It was a, a pain in the butt. Chocobo, which every single bird hates. What? It is rhyme time. Racing segment. Remember. I do remember spamming death on the, uh, the turtles. <laughs> the turtle monsters. Right. 
Oh yeah, that's right. Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. I don't remember seagulls in Final Fantasy X. And what I remember about Final Fantasy X was going along that one section where everything turned you to stone. It was the section with the arena guy kept making it up with Is that like the monster hunting? No. I'm getting confused. I'm trying to remember. In seven. Which guy? The one at the, uh, the Coliseum? Oh wait, no. I wanna take him. Give me, give me! Thank you. Wasn't that kinda half your fault though? Aren't you contributing to his, his, what is it, hobby? I don't know what to call it. <laughs> I mean, you were, you were the one going out and catching all these monsters for him. You're like, oh, hey, look, I found some new unknown breed of, I don't know. He's like, oh, I know. I will have you fight it. Over and over again. Yes, this is the lookout point. But I want to get the items. I'm going to go back to town in just a second. We had to go around to get back to the commercial district because we need to rescue Fiora. She is a damsel in distress. that pool that I was trying to find earlier. Ah. Oh. She can take care of herself. She'll be fine. Absolutely fine. No problem. Excuse me while I just take care of some side quests in the meantime. <laughs> Kill these things. The enemy's weak, but don't drop your guard. I know that time is that poor cry. This won't take long. Oh, the, the, the music can't decide what it wants to do. Raw Piranix meat. No, if that's very good. The enemy's weak, but don't drop your guard. Yeah, the music can't decide what it wants this to do. I guess you're technically not supposed to be fighting these guys right now. And kill this other fish. The if I can weak, reach it. But don't drop your guard. This won't take long. I don't have time for small cry. We're not that pretty good. But we mustn't be careless. Let's not lose our heads though. Uh, in a way, I suppose. Yeah, fire fire has that effect. Can I thank you. Against these weaklings? Nah, I don't need to. I don't think I can, actually. Nope. Oh, well, okay. Ah, I see. Over here! Come here! 
You know, this reminds me a little bit of the spiders from um, the other game. Nate, give me. I got a filthy wing for it, really. Nope. Did he just throw a rock at it? What a terrible thing to do, Shulk! Shulk, why? Why would you do that? <laughs> it's like, okay, you want to lure it to you, so why don't you just whistle or something? No, he, he's got to throw a rock at it. It's horrible. <laughs> Very sharp and pointy rock. Well, he gets the job done. Still. Hello? Come here! I feel bad. I mean, yeah, I'm immediately killing it with my sword. Stealing its wing. But I feel bad for throwing a rock at it. Alright, I think I have killed all that I can kill here. Meanwhile, it is war outside. Maybe something over here that I want. He's doing his one-handed uh, breaststroke. Very talented. Is this the right way to go? No? No, I'm going that way. The map's um. Sure. I'll just go the long way. There. Oh. Well. Maybe I'll find the other strange item that I am missing from my collectopedia. Out. You're named monster. I think I can defeat you at this point. You are a big bunnet. Very nice. You know the other named monster that I managed to defeat was also a bunnet. <laughs> bunnet iron. Rusher. Messenger shoes. I think they're new. Uh. Maybe? Ability. Mm. I would put them on you if I could, but I can't. Alright, we'll put them on you. Get anything else new? No, I did or not. I don't think so. Let me check. Rusher. He already has it equipped. There's three empty slots. Very nice. Let me see if it is better for him or not. Is it? Oh. Oh. It is. Okay, well. Changing it. <laughs> see, I don't think I have anything. No. I'm sure this is already equipped on Chult. Oh. It's supposed to be equipped on him, actually. His strength is pretty high now. 107. Oh. Okay, well. Lever bind. Here we go. 
better. What else do I have? I have used up all the things that I can. I can upgrade a little bit here. Electric Gut Buster! Uh, the naming sense in this game is funny. Actually, break is nice to have. Hmm, what do I want to upgrade? Hmm. Well, I'll do this. do. Oh, it multiplies at times two. Very nice. Hmm, I don't think I want to do that, though. I want to increase his heal to the max it can go. So I'm going to save my point for now. And kill these guys. Junk bunny. Let's keep up the pressure. Well, we got through that pretty good, but we mustn't be careless. Man, what a bunch of jokers. I'm just completely ignoring Fiora for now. I have things to do. Items to collect. Oh. Travel. The enemy's weak. But don't drop your guard. This one's mine. I don't have time for small fry. I'm sure that, uh, what's his face? Dumb man is very concerned about his. Yeah. The enemy's weak, but don't drop your guard. This won't take long. I don't have time for small fries. <laughs> I didn't even have, time, even have time to go and hit it. Starting to get a feel for the battle. Finally, it's a while. It was a little bit overwhelming at first. I already got the thing over there. Arrow beetle. Hmm. Wonder if it's usually this misty, or if it's just a side effect of being at war. feel like exploring right now.
Give me you. Is there a junk bonnet? I am not sure if that was the way I'm supposed to go. Uh, I think it might have been actually. Let me see what the map is. Yes, that's how I can go. Well. Time to slaughter more bunnies. We can't lose! Don't hold back! This one's mine! Ha! Let's keep under pressure! Come on! We can do it! Everyone! Don't let it let job, everyone! Man, what a bunch of jokers! I can see this isn't pushing you at all! <laughs> I gotta say, yeah, Shulk, Shulk doesn't seem too bothered by using the Minato at this point. Uh oh. Why are you red? Oh. Oh no. You guys are strong. Can I run past you? You won't see me? Please don't see me. I'm just gonna run away. No, you have little eyeballs. No. You're named too. No. Oh no. Yeah. How do I get out of here? No, boss music. Leave me alone. I'm just trying to get back to war. I could, but I think that's where I started. Uh oh, why are you still attacking me? You can't see me, I'm hiding. Yeah, I thought this was the way to go. Oh, you are supposed to- okay. Well... <laughs> Alright, well... Time to run past these guys again. You guys make me nervous. No! I can't oh! Go on. Oh no! Well, it one shot me. They're scary! Oh, well. Did I get to keep all my items there? I think I got a new messenger shoes, I think, is what it was. Okay. Well, that was one way to get back to where I needed to go. How about the map? Yeah, I filled out the map too. Just as well. I'm closer to where I need to be anyway. Let's go rescue Fiora. Wow, everything really is on fire. It's horrible. Oh. The gun is shooting at things. At something, anyway. Oh. Hello. That don't mean nothing! That's right! Not when we have the Monado! <laughs> Wouldn't speak too soon. Okay, we're gonna do this. <laughs> Does bleed even work? Metal face? That hurts. Okay, we're gonna try and break you. That didn't work. What just happened? The Monada. It's not working. Oi! What do you mean? How can that be? The Monado should cut through Megon with ease. What? What is that 
Light. Other Mekon don't have that. Could... Could that light be why the Monado has no effect? Shoot! Ryan, get down! <laughs> Stay back! I'll take it from here! No! You can't take any more! Oh. Um... actually is driving it. <laughs> oh, oh no. What? What did I just Fiora! Get back! I won't let you hurt any more people. We will save Colony 9! I guess she's a lot like her brother, actually. Is she okay? Oh, uh, that's not good. Shulk. You just got pissed. <laughs> oh no. Make on with faces. Gain attack, huh? I can do that. Build up my gauge. Okie dokie. Break! Apple! Uh, I guess we'll topple again. Very nice. That thing is creepy, I gotta say. I thought he went off the edge.
I mean, when I said Fiora is like her brother, I didn't, you know, I didn't mean to go that far. Fiora. Ah, oh, the breeze feels so good. Yeah. I'd forgotten what it feels like. I never thought it could be so quiet here. You're spending too much time with Ryan. You're getting used to all the noise he makes. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so peaceful. You know, Shulk, I hope every day can be like this, always. Uh, the lighting was... Have you been to see Dunban? Yeah. I just can't do it. You got more guts than me. Not at all. It was him that consoled me. Oh. I guess that's <laughs> the type of guy he is. I don't know. Yeah. I honestly don't know. Even without the Monado, he's the strongest person I know. Uh, Shulk, how are you holding up? I'm fine, but you... I will shed no tears. Huh? A year ago, I felt the same sense of deep loss that I do now. The Battle of Sword Valley. After that battle, many of my friends did not make it home. While I was being brought here on that stretcher, they were all I thought about. <sighs> but I decided I would not cry. Everyone who died in that war had something they wanted to protect. Family, friends, loved ones, their home. So they fought to protect them. And we won. No matter how painful, no matter how hard, it's nothing to be sad about. I decided that there and then. Dumban. Shulk, Fiora would tell you the same thing. <sighs> She wanted to protect us. Or rather, she wanted to protect you. And you're alive now. So, I will not cry. Okay. Remember the gift of life that Fiora gave you. And treasure it. I... I can't say that I understand. But... I hope to. Someday. That is all I ask. Believe me, I'm always just trying to understand. Treasure the gift of life that Fiora gave you. He's one of a kind, that Dunban. I've made a decision. Huh? My purpose in life. I will pursue that faced mechon. Mm, vengeance. They attacked our colony. Killed Fiora. I will find that mechon. Find it and destroy it. Destroy them all. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Sorry, sorry. It's just a bit weird. I never thought you'd be the one to say it. So you agree? Of course, man. I'm just surprised you came out with it first. You thought I'd try and talk you out of it? That's not what Fiora would want. That sound right? Yeah. Something like that. I thought you'd give me a hard time. In my head, there are two versions of me. One of them is saying that. It's telling me, listen to what Dunban said. What about the other one? It keeps shouting, make them pay. Destroy every single one of them. And it won't stop getting louder. That doesn't sound like you. Sure, it ain't my voice in there. <laughs> Might be. It's a bit of a loud mouth. There you go then. <laughs> <laughs> so. When are we heading off? Right now. Perfect. 
He's like, screw the colony. I'm off to get my vengeance. Right then. Yeah. Are they leaving without even saying goodbye? Look after yourselves, boys. As soon as this heals, I'll be right behind you. And then we will seize our destiny. Together. Poor Dixon. All I can do is watch over them. Well, that was all sad. Uh. Uh. Oh. Uh, okay. Random flashback. Okay. I'm confused. No. <laughs> that is true, yes. Absolutely. Huh? So he was the one who found it. Baby Shulk? It's all very well going after that metal-faced Mechon. But shouldn't we have some kind of plan? Uh, yeah. How about checking out Colony 6? Colony 6? The only other Homs colony left. Colony 6 is on the way to Sword Valley, where there's supposed to be a Mechon base. If that's where they came from, maybe the people in Colony 6 saw something. Good point. They might even know something about that metal-faced Mechon. So... We go past the Magmel Ruins and up through Tefra Cave. Then we should arrive at the Bionist Knee. Yeah. And if we can get to the Knee, it ain't far to Colony 6, right? Sounds like a plan. Let's head to Colony 6. Okay, let's see here. What experience did I gain from that? Um, didn't I already get this tutorial? <laughs> I think it's funny too that they have Colony 6 and Colony 9. Of all the numbers to choose, they had to choose those two. Uh, leveling up Minero. Yeah, I already figured this out. Let's see here. 
But I don't want to. I was saving up my points for... Leveling up his heal. How about you? I just leveled you up, so now I can't do anything for you yet. Um, I'm actually kind of glad I leveled up his topple at this point. It was nice having Dumba in my party because he could break and topple. The cooldown is 22 and a half seconds. How about you break? Twenty-nine seconds. Oh, so it's actually shorter cooldown for him. Hmm. Gem crafting. Very nice. It's not foggy anymore. All the smoke cleared out. Alright, so we left town, and we're going straight back into town. It was a very short trip. Oh yeah, I, I bet you he does. Oh, it's kind of trash. It's not very trash, but it is kind of trash. Alright, do you have anything new for me? Probably not, but just in case. Uh, you do have new stuff. They're all very great. I want to heal. Or upgrade his heal. 23? Why would I want 23 now? I'm looking at their, their character models and every time they get their, their big close-up on them, I'm just like, wow, this is so nice. They're so beautiful. I love their new model. Fantastic. Um. Hold down. This is his topple, I think. Let me check. Sure, that was his. Yes, while down. Okay. I want to upgrade your topple. And... Light heal. Well. Very least, I want those two. So, one of these. And one of these. Stone upper! Okie dokie. Now, if I buy one other light heal, will it upgrade it again? Or do I have to buy, like, a special version 2 or something? Special version? I kind of figured. I feel like there might be another character that has light heal, so... I didn't want to waste my money by buying a whole bunch of things, because they are pricey. The Scream Edge, Shadow Eye, Shimmer Beast, or Swing. The, this is an area of attack. AoE attack. Area of effect. AoE, yeah. <laughs> Brain, please! This is also... Hmm, okay. well... I don't want Hammer Beat. If he has it for sale. Well. Gimme gimme. You do have it, okay. Thank you. Not too concerned about Rage or Bone Upper. Okay. Very nice.
Yeah, well, I mean, I'll organize my inventory later. <laughs> that is an off-stream sort of thing. That'll be time-consuming. I'm not going to do that here. Um. Besides, also, I got 100,000 free money. Just because I had played Xenoblade Chronicles 2, when I started the game, it's like, hey, here, have some free money. So I got 100k right off the bat. So, very nice. Um, I think I got any new stuff. How about here? No, I still haven't figured out what I'm missing. I need to go back in the cave for this stuff. I only got one of all of these things. Alright, is there any new quests? I see an exclamation point. Where are you? Anywhere. I actually have some curry that I cooked the other day. I have some leftovers in the fridge. <laughs> Absolutely. For the sake of curry. Dance up. I'm pretty sure I have at least one or two. <laughs> oh, I only have two. Well. I don't mind. Not one bit. Okay. What else do you have to say? Your daughter? What? I don't care about your daughter. That's your daughter. Hi there. No. If it was his daughter, he would have said dad. Who's this? Hey. I don't know who your daughter is, sir. What do you have for me? Hmm. I will pass. Any other quests? Oh, yes, there are, actually. Probably because I'm in a new chapter. There is one here. And one here. Just the two? Oh wait, no, there's one right here. Where are you? Oh, it's the little kid. That's not why she makes bad food. She just makes bad food because she's a horrible cook. <laughs> Bean. Hmm. still has something else that he needs to do. I think it was a broken watch.
Nothing new to say? Okay, well... No. Yeah, these shutters were closed... ...earlier. Alright, I'm going to fast travel over here. There's two... ...over here. What is it? Hey. That's your fangirl, sir. She's kind of creepy, hiding behind the bush, but... What is it? You'll allow it, really? Okay, nothing new to say. say losing childhood friends is doesn't really quite compare. I have six. Hello. That was fast. Easy peasy. Thank you. Hello. Anything else to say? <laughs> That's a nice analogy, though. quite a few things. Mm. Increased tension by question mark, question mark. Hmm. Okay. Hey, there's somebody else over here. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I got the, uh, kiwis, I think? Or nectar, or something like that. This is the lady who wanted to make sweets for her child. Terrible incentive. <laughs> Hello? Really? Horrible thing to say. Hello. About your own child? See, I told you. You cannot bribe your child in this way. It will not work. Hello. Okay. Come and see. Okay. Okay. Uh, what?
Wow. Street crit? Really? Affinity, huh? I don't have enough weeds to give Ryan. I don't know what level I'm supposed to get it to. The Where is it? Affinity chart. Well, I upgraded to level green. Did I lose the quest? I think it got too late. Hang on. Uh, yeah, it got too late. Hang on. I need to change the time. Hello? there was another quest over here. Okay, well, let me change the time again. Did that work? No? I am confused. All these heart to hearts. A lot of them around here. Alright, well, I'm gonna go here. Actually, not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, heading to Colony 6. We're not doing that today. We have lots of other things to do right now. I wonder if the depressed dude is still depressed. Who was it? What, Nick? Oh, hi. Wind things? Your platoon, don't you have exactly one subordinate? Oh, yeah. Easy. Anything for food. All right, I need to go fix this watch. I wasn't able to earlier because the, uh, the war happened. I'm gonna go do that now, while I can. Uh-oh. Okay, well, I have three. Easy peasy. Very nice. Uh, let's see. 
What else is there? It's bothering me about this quest over here. I think there was another quest for me to pick up. And then... Alright, well I guess I'll go kill these things. Or collect whatever it is that I need to do. Let me check. Uh, no. Buttons! Um, here. This lock. Let's see, collect. Collect. It doesn't tell you how high you have to raise the affinity. E defeat. Find someone. I thought this dude was supposed to be... ...in the weapons lab. Alright, well... E what else? Defeat. Defeat, defeat. Defeat, defeat. Defeat, defeat, defeat. Select. Select. Just these two? Well. Where's this dude I'm supposed to be looking for? I do not see a blue exclamation point. Herm. Well? You know, it's bothering me about that quest. Let me try changing the time. to say that. Well, maybe it was the little girl that I actually was supposed to talk to. Oh, here he is. Alright, let's see. What is this quest about? What was his name? I thought they said what his name was. Like, um... What was it? Dean. Oh, okay. Uh, hello? Uh, okay. Does he have a thing for the mom? I thought the mom was married. I'm confused. Come back here. Research. Hi there. So you're kind of like a, a blacksmith. Or metallurgist. A widow? Oh, I guess that's why she cooks so terribly, because she's in grieving? Grieving? Mourning? Whatever. <laughs> um... 
I wanted to trade with you. Come here. Colony top, ether protect, and a hornet. Well. Oh yeah, I was supposed to go look at the gem stall. See what I can manufacture. Quest here. Alright, we're gonna go here. Where are you? Are you up there? Yes, you are. Oh, hello. Oh, it's that voice. It's not a woman's voice. I don't understand. That's that. Patty armor, twisted gun, and nicked knife. A lot of experience. Oh, hello. Uh, I haven't even started. I'm guessing I will find the things along the way. Oh, hello. You don't have much. Hey, gem stall. Ooh. Nice. Free service. Very cool. The same rank. Shooter and engineer? What? Wow. They're really getting into this crafting business. <laughs> So it depends on exactly what it is you want to make, I see. Oh dear. I'm gonna have to study this. So they're not even the same... what is it? Um, they don't even have the same stats, even though they're all the same item. They have different stats. I 
was wondering what these were. Oh man. I'm so confused. I have a feeling I'm going to have to study this offline, figure out what I'm doing. Okie dokie. Alright, is there any other quests for me? Yeah, I kind of gathered that. Like, I can collect the quest. I'm a little worried about them auto-completing, though. That's why I'm kind of ignoring these uh, red question marks for now. Because it, these are the things that I need to kill. And I don't want to get a whole bunch of experience when I only have Ryan and Shulk with me. This looks like I need to go... I thought this led me to the ruins. Why is the flag telling me to go here? Is this how I leave? I'm pretty sure they said in the cutscene and my my key brain has already forgotten. <laughs> I think so. There's all this area I haven't explored over here. Let me check by changing the time if there's any other quests that I need to pick up. Let's go here, I guess. No. Wait, I saw a. This dude. Oh, hang on just a second. Okay, I am back. Um, is this the gym guy? No. Who's this guy? Oh, that's who you give the, the pendant to. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I absolutely understand. Given the number of NPCs and characters and whatnot, in this game, if it's comparable to the second one, I expect hundreds of hours to be invested in it. But I did want to spend a little bit of time... What is it? Can I actually go in here? Learning the town. And a little bit of the lore of the town. Which I think I've already done pretty much for 29. Side quests don't bother me. I quite enjoy them. They add a little extra. Kind of, sort of. They all have stories behind them. I need to change the time again so if there's any other quests that I am missing. Okay, let's go afternoon. About now. Uh. No. Okay. About evening. Aha. There is somebody over here. Yes. Leopold. Flashback time. King Squeeze, he's a lone shark. 
Oh no! Time to defeat the uh, the lone shark. Shark. Yes. <laughs> hey, you get rewarded by the the story they have to tell you. Yes. Hey, what do you? Oh no no no. No. You have anything worthwhile to yes. trade though? How any cuffs? Well, mm -hmm. not bad. I'm not going to trade with you right now though. Let's see here. Where is it? What was it called? Oh, this one. Yes. Beautiful. Alright, let's see. Any other quests for me to pick up? Alright, let me change the time again. Oh, wait. Everybody is snoozing. Oh, wait. What now? There's no night owls hanging out around to give me a quest. Oh, wait. Here we go. Here's somebody. Let's go see what they have. Hiding. All right. That's a mirror. Collect. Okay. Planning something shady. How do you know it's shady? You're one of us now. Twist my arm, why don't you? All right. But all we're doing is getting animal parts. All right. Anything else? No. Okay. All right. What have you got? All any bottoms? Okay. Okay, let's see here. Change the time again. After midnight. Did that change anything? No, it does not look like it. Yeah, I can never tell what the time zones are. Oh, wait, no, that is... Here we go. Turn it 
Chirpy chirp. Okay, I think I got all the quests that I can around here. We here. How do I change? Here we go. Mm. I need to change my quest, actually. Oh wait, no, that's not what I went there. We click, click. Defeat, defeat, defeat. Ten thousand creatures. And click. See, these just give me gold. Gives me money, but no experience, so I'm okay with that. Okay, I'm here. You know, I'm a little sad that I can't go visit Dumb Man. This is a heart to heart in here, but I actually do not know how to get in here. How do I get inside the house? Their back door? No. Side door? No. It's literally the only entrance into this house. Well. I wanted to visit the ailing man. I was going the right way. Okay. Let us go back to the very depressing place at this point. Which is the outlook point. Nothing but memories of your there. No. I'm surprised that she died. And I'm pretty sure I'm still missing an item. Two main quest times are 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. Hello, Upset Coffee. I love your name, by the way. <laughs> How are you this evening? Um, do I need to jump off the edge again? I have a feeling I do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me yoink these first. What is this? A floating apple. Oh, hey. More blue things to pick up over here. Time to kill some things. Um, come here. Come here. Ryan, Ryan, really? Hello. The enemy's weak, but don't drop 
Well, okay. Come here. You. We'll, we'll go over here. <laughs> here we go, finally. <laughs> I am enjoying it thoroughly. I'm remembering exactly, um... Because I have played Xenoblade Chronicles 2. But I am remembering how much time you spend in the, um, the menu. There is a lot of time spent just lurking in the menu. Come here. Meet your doom. Alright, you are awfully far away. I'm still basically, um, in the very beginning of the game. I haven't even left Colony 6 yet. Sorry, Colony 9. I have not left Colony 9 yet. If Fiora just died, and I'm sad. <laughs> Jolk is angry. He is big gur at this point. Justifiably, but still a little, a little surprising. I don't think I went over here. Any items for me over here? Now I can't make fun of her noises anymore. They all have really funny noises when they jump. <laughs> Am I even- oh, I see something. Oh, hey, another something. Oh, this is the place where I killed the other- the bunnet. The named bunnet. I think I need to find one more apple. Yeah, I got bodied by something over here. It wasn't over here, it was, uh, like, in the corner. Up there somewhere. I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going. Something about Tefra Cave. Like, there's a back entrance or something? Um... Over here, and there's something over here. Yeah, it was right here. It was like level 38 something something. It just one shot me. I instantly died. Uh... Yeah, I don't want to complete too many of these quests and waste my experience that I gain. Here. Like, this one gives you zero experience. I only got one? Where's the other one? That was the blue- wait. That was the blue- What is it? Exclamation point. Is there another one hanging out around here somewhere? Where? Yeah, I have this actually on the Wii. I just never got around to playing it. And then the definitive version came out and I'm like, you know what? I'm definitely going to get this one. I had so much trouble playing any kind of game on the Wii. It was so uncomfortable using the Wiimote because it would hurt your wrist after not very long playing. Like, I tried to play Final Fantasy, uh, what is it, Crystal Chronicles? On the Wii, and I just, like, I couldn't do it. It just kills your wrist. 
So I never got around to playing this, even though I knew it would be worth it. So I was so happy that they released the definitive edition for the Switch. So I can actually play it in play it comfortably. Not to mention that very lovely graphical update. Did they? Really? I mean, the the store, your Nintendo shop probably has a lot of options. Crystal Chronicles Remastered? I think I got that on the, the PlayStation 4, actually. They had a sale earlier this year. All of the Square Enix titles that they had in the store were on sale. So I, I picked up a bunch of the ones that I didn't already have. Alright, I need to not die this time. Um, turn around. Please turn around. You don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Don't see me. It comes out the 27th? Well, I already got it, I think. I got something for the PlayStation, anyway. These are very weird looking creatures. Oh, they're flummy. They look different from the other game. Well, time to slaughter them. Back here. Very nice. Filthy wings. And another filthy thing. Oh. Last year. Okay. I don't want to kill these guys. <laughs> yeah, I needed to, um... I need to check the, the, the mana series. Because I got... Was it... Um, Secret of Mana... And I also got... Was Legend of Mana? No, no, no. Trials of Mana. But I think Legend is the one that I am missing. The one that did not have a physical release for some reason I don't understand. What is this? Oh, you're... Mm, what is it? Armu? <laughs> Lemmy! Yes! I played uh, Secret of Mana. Lemmy in the first game was adorable. Absolutely precious. Like a whole herd of these creatures here. I'm just kind of exploring. Um, wrong button. Now, I didn't go over here. See what is over here. I did like Secret of Mana. It was a little simple, I guess. Product of its time. And the translation was a little awkward, but, you know, serviceable. A very strange area. I think they still had the co-op ability in the the remaster. It wasn't a remake, I don't think. It was a remaster. Um, I think they still had the co-op. I didn't use it, though. 
Yeah, I heard that complaint that it wasn't in the, the remaster. What is it? The remake of was it Trials? The trials of Mana. Oh yeah, I absolutely love that function of NG Plus in Xenoblade uh, Chronicles 2. You can lower your experience level to whatever you want it to be. You can change your level down to level 3 if you want. It just depends on how many things you want to fight when you're walking through the field. <laughs> Is there not a landmark for me to discover over here? I feel like I should be able to walk on this. Is there an NG plus in this game? Out of curiosity. I don't know if I can get through here. Looks like I should be able to. Hero passive. Success. Okay, well, I thought I could get up here. The music changed. Alright, well, I am determined. I want to know if I can get up here. Very giant gun thing. Very interesting view, though. new chapter. You mean in Trials of Mana? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> it's not even on the Wii. The uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X was on the Wii U. So I never got the opportunity to play that one. Because I never got a Wii U. I just had the, the basic Wii. I never upgraded. Can't jump up here. No. No. Arg. Feel like I should be able to get up here. It was supposed to have been a little different. Um. Well. Hmm. go around this way. So far! And yet so close. So close and yet so far. I mean, it is a fair complaint. I mean, you have relatively easy access to, to this game and the... Uh, what is it? Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Okay, well, I am going in circles. Oh wait, I see shiny things. That is quite nice. Yes. Oh, and it's an apple. I needed one of these. It was the last one I needed. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly don't know how much time I spent in Xenosaga. It's not very much compared to all of the other Xeno games that I've played. I spent quite a while on Xeno Gears. Xeno Blade Chronicles 2 is still the the gold crown. I've spent over a thousand hours on that game. Just because of the RNG factor. Oh, hey! Are these the little things that I need to collect their thing from? Okay, well... There's like 20 blue... What is it? Uh, exclamation points on the map. I got one! I guess it was just the wrong time of day. Okay.
Xenoblade Chronicles 2 has about as much menuing as this game does, if not more. But it's enjoyable. It's the characters are interesting. Because half of the appeal of the game is um, min-maxing your character in their blades. Let's see here. Have I managed to get enough? Oh, 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 wrong button. <laughs> I managed to get enough to level up. No. You are nowhere close. Uh. Okay. Oh, how about you? Ninety-one. Nope. Ah. How about this? Mm -hmm. Getting there. And getting there. Xenoblade Chronicles, Chronicles X had you create your own character. Oh yeah, when you have a character generating... What is it? There's a... Um, there's a game I played recently where you could do that. I don't remember what it was though. Oh, there's... Oh, well there's two technically. There's Code Vein and there's also... um. Uh, Final Fantasy XV Comrades, because it's multiplayer, uh, you have the ability to create your own character, but it had a pretty good character generating um, program at the beginning. Scarlet Nexus, what is it about? Do I have to turn in? I don't think I do. I think it automatically finished the, the curry quest. Oh no, here it is. 60 EXP? Mm -hmm. Okay. I will give you your apples, dude. What this guy need? Oh yeah, I need to talk to the loan shark out a certain time of day. Like, yeah, I think he's only out at night. It's about psychic powers. I need to go this way. Maybe? Oh no, I had to go around, I think. Higher level difference, lower EXP, AP, and SP you get. Really? Wait, did I talk How's it going? What? How's it going? There's a whole Titan for you to go climbing on. What wrongs? What? We were attacked. What are you talking about? You have a weird view on life. How's it going? Colony cuffs. All right, let's go talk to this dude. Unreasonable. Two days. I call that unreasonable. I mean, fair, but still. Oh. 
Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Uh-huh. Sylvian or Leopold. Okay, well this one actually gives me experience. Well. Um. That is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to look at this here. Click, click, click. It was a whole quest line. Jeez. <laughs> One baby Armu. I'd feel bad killing it because it's a baby. No! I never did find out where the thing is. Alright. There's this egg. Uh. Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay, well. I still don't understand the appeal of using an egg that does not have a yolk in it. But if you insist... Well, I can hit ZR to see what my objective is. Okay. I need to go this way. I'm still upset I can't get up there. I want to look at the, the cannon up close and personal. I love this music. It's so relaxing. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to yoink you for your egg. I got one. Alexa. You know, when I think of making an omelet, I definitely don't think of a yolkless egg. any other why is there only one exclamation point over here I'm confused uh yeah so I think that was it as far as quests go relatively Free quests, so to speak. All the rest of these give me fairly good experience. Well, hmm. And I don't think I have enough upgrades. 
here. No, it does not look like it. See, these skill trees, they look so small, but they <laughs> take so many uh, points to upgrade by the end. Ah! Ah! Okie dokie, let us go back into town. I think the, these little things are the the very first death that I had in the game. The little thing killed me. Wait, do you have anything new for me? Probably not. It does not look like it. Do I really want to invest in these right now? Hmm. Well, this one's not expensive. Relative to the other. May as well. Okay. I don't want to give you your watch just yet. Oh, I thought there was something over here for me to... Uh, thinking, thinking, thinking. Oh my goodness, you see something, Saline? I think she sees something outside the window. Okay, well, I explored over here. There's this big gap over here. Hmm, thinking, thinking. I'm going to save the game, actually. I'm still missing this strange thing. I never managed to find it. Well. <laughs> Wait, no, that's not what I wanted. Buttons! Ah! There we go. So it is actually kind of late. I am looking at the clock. And I am getting a little tired. I've been online about three hours. So I'm going to call it a night for tonight. Um, I will be streaming this game again. Next Sunday. Same time. Maybe I will start a little bit earlier. Get through a little bit more of the story. I'm bummed! I lost a main character and I'm I'm still a little in shock about it. Anyway, I had a good time. I went to war. I, I'd like to say that I survived, but one of the characters died. And surprisingly that character was not the dumb man. But I did learn that they are quite similar. As siblings. Family trait. Learned a little bit more about the Minato as well. Otherwise. Alright, yeah. I know you have things to do as well. Take care. Have a nice day. Over there on the other side of the planet. 
I don't know what time zone you are in, Upset Coffee. I hope to see you again next time. But depending on where you are, I hope you also have a nice night. Alright, I'm going to end the stream now. Toodaloo, ta ta. I shall catch you guys later. Mm, bye bye.